Awesome morning. Wanted to talk to you today about decluttering your life. I know, right? What does that mean? What does that look like? So, if we break it down and we think about it, it's like when you declutter your home, just home right now, you know, you just go and declutter a little bit at a time, a section at a time, then move on to like a room at a time, or, or you know, like there's containers you might have containers or boxes of things that you just are like not nah, not dealing with that the thing is is when you do that when you break hold of that that's whatever's holding you from stopping you from doing it when you just smash that and you just get it done there's just this freeness this like liberating feeling that comes from that and so when you think about your home in regards to that so you decide i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna throw this in the bin <laughs> And then also I'm going to donate this or I'm going to sell it. It's those kind of categories. So decide where they fit in your life. And then if you're not sure, just put it in a not sure basket. That's all good, right? Come back to it later. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. The next one is your mind. So being um, in control of your mind, decluttering your mind. So there's like strongholds, right? And they kind of hold you like a prisoner um, with like your thoughts, okay? So you might be like, no, nah, and you have this certain stronghold or a certain thought. And the thing is, is you've got to break free from that. You've got to be like, do you know what? That isn't me. That isn't who I am. This is who I am. And remind yourself who you are and decide what you're going to think about. Because, you know, we can think about whatever, really. At the end of the day, there's so many thoughts going on in your mind. And the thing is, is just be focused, be concentrating on what you're going to think about and go, yep, I'm doing this now. Yep, I'm doing that now. If something comes in that's like, mm, you know, you don't want to deal with or you're not ready or you just don't need to, put that thought to the side. You can even say, write it down in a notebook that you'll do this later. So sometimes as well, people kind of have um, lots of thoughts when they're trying to go to sleep. Write them down in a notebook next to your bed. Just get them out of your mind and then you'll be able to feel more freer. You'll be like, yep, yeah, I've got to do that or whatever it is. Just write it down. Okay, next one, friendships and relationships. So friendships and relationships are really vital, you know, in our life, especially these days. Um, and so just thinking about the friendships that are helping you, encouraging you, inspiring you, those that are really adding value to your life, just think about those ones. There's some that are just full on that you don't need all the time. And just recognizing, thinking, you know what? I don't actually need that right now. I don't need that situation, that drama. Just think about that. Just think about what you want in your life. Think about that. And decide where they fit in with your life. Sometimes you can see someone all the time. Sometimes you can just see them once a year. Sometimes it's not even like that. Sometimes they're a phone call away. So just kind of work out, you know, are they adding value to your life? in all respects, in prosperity, in regards to prosperity in all dynamics, okay? Not just, yeah, financial gain and that. So think about that. Think about how they're bringing things to your life and is it adding more to you than or subtracting? Some people, you can kind of be around them and then they're just dragging you down or, you know, you can feel like they're sucking life out of you and, you know, <coughs> it can't be about that. It's got to be about... Finding peace, finding um, encouragement, finding like really who you are and who you're destined to be. That's what it's all about, right? So, um, and also next one is um, loving you for you, which is about, you know, becoming who you're destined to be, loving you for you, taking everything, taking every part of you, who you are, and just loving yourself for that. Understanding that you're past doesn't define you. It helps you kind of understand why you are the way you are, but it doesn't define you. And um, 
keep in mind, you can't please everybody. There is no way you're going to be able to complete, um, please everybody. And the thing is, is some people you'll just, they're never going to like you. It's not, it's more of a spiritual thing, but they're never going to like you. Then ne you're never going to please them. You're never going to, it's not, it's just such a waste of your energy and a drain of your energy. So you don't need to justify yourself. You don't need to explain yourself because some people are never going to get it. Some people are never going to understand because you guys are talking differently, you know? So like, just keep that in mind. Okay. Just be around people that are going to encourage you. Proximity is power as well. Knowledge is power. So just feed your spirits, feed your brain, feed what you need to be able to feel better and to be able to really love you for the whole entirety of you. And now work. Declutter your work. So work does not define you. Remember that. Your job, work, what you do in that situation, in that season of your life, that doesn't define you. It definitely doesn't define you. That is not like that's it. That's not that, right? So you're bigger than that. It helps you through your different stages of your life. Sometimes we're there at a certain stage to help other people, but it doesn't define you. Okay? Keep that in mind. Social media. Wow. Declad is social media. Choose what to think about. Choose when to think about it and choose how to think about it. Yeah? So social media can really have a um, strain on your mental state as well. And the thing is, there's all different social medias, right? I'm talking about all, all across the board. So just think about how long you're wanting to be on there for, what, what are you actually trying to achieve and how to think afterwards. Sometimes people will like jump onto social media straight up in the morning. They might already be hammered down by all this. This person's doing that. This person's doing that. I'm not good enough. All that self-talk that's horrible. Just choose what you're going to be concentrating on. Choose what you're going to be doing straight up in the morning. Okay. Just be reflective of how you're spending your time. Okay. Emails. Okay. <laughs> wow. I get so many emails. You got to declutter them. You got to file them. You got to delete them. You've got to categorize them. Just get onto that. Okay. As you're doing it, just get onto that because it can, you can just be flooded by that. And the thing is, is also choose when you're going to choose to look at your emails. So if you're going to choose like you're say out for dinner and then you decide to check on work emails, that's going to just put your brain into work. And like when you're actually concentrating on work and you want to decide on choosing to um, look at an email that's going to bring you back to home, you're just going to be really confused because those thoughts are already come into your mind and you're not having, so you don't need to be reminded of what you're not doing or what you need to do later. Just focus on the here and now and getting that done. Being in the present, being really um, accountable to yourself and going, yeah, not, you know what, I'm here for this, so I'm doing this. Um, and your health, <laughs> declutter your health, right? So you might have appointments you need to make, just make them, do them, show up, get them done, go through the motion of whatever that appointment's going to be about and, um, pray, pray about it. I know there's lots of people out there that pray, so pray about it and pray, um, and get peace because when you're looking for peace. People think like, oh, I've got to do that, that, that. I've got to do that, 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 and I'll get peace. No, search for peace first. Get peace first. Then everything else kind of um, settles. Time. Declutter your time. Choose what you're doing with your time. Totally. Be aware of that. I've got like four children. I so have to think about my time all the time and how I'm fitting all that in and running a business. Like you really have to really get onto that. Just think about your time, how you're going to do your time, what you're going to spend it on. You know, I only do a certain amount of time for certain things. And I choose sometimes not to do certain things because I know what it's going to do to me. So I choose not to do certain things with my time, choose not to hang out with certain people, choose not to embrace certain things, choose not to choose opportunities to embrace. You know, it's about really 
working on what you want to do. It's about really following the opportunities you want to do. It's about really focusing on that, focusing on you in the sense of like not being selfish, but you know what? Lots of people are concentrating on too many people too much. And when you're not focused on yourself, you can help people and help them. And that also um, releases um, dopamine and endorphins and that, which is awesome for your body. But you have to be thinking about you as well. And think about your dreams. Yeah, so when you get excited, when you just like smash your dreams out, get on with what you want to do, it just releases just amazing feelings in your body. And like that just like just can, it's just so unexplainable. But follow your dreams, follow what you're destined to be, follow your passions, follow like what gives you peace. Do that. You've got to do that. You owe it to yourself. You know, look what you've already achieved so far. It's amazing. You know, everyone's got their story and they've accomplished so much. They've got everything they've got inside of them that can rise up and just push them through, make them rise with the challenges, make them embrace who they are. It just, oh, it has this ripple effect, right? When you just allow your inner sparkle to shine, it just has this ripple effect on the, the nations and the world needs that right now. The world needs love. It needs compassion. It needs that fire in people's eyes that just go, you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm going to be passionate about this because this is what I'm here for. The, like some people just um, are so passionate for certain things and you can't get that passion. It dwells up inside of you. If you're not passionate about something. You're just going to kind of do it half, you know, when you're passionate about it, you just get so excited and you have this twinkle in your eye and you can do that. Like this. There's just so many amazing opportunities out there and they're all waiting for you. So I want you to think about that, declutter your life, PM me if you want any more help and if you want, follow my YouTube channel to inspire you even more because it's really about getting connected, staying together and allowing your inner sparkle to shine. Love you lots, everyone. Bye.